didn't want to be fake. I wanted to be who I was. And who was I at that time? Well, I was out there. I'd found something. I had gotten into drugs and things I shouldn't have. I began to find something to numb all the pain from when I was little of being told that I wasn't okay. And when I found something that numbed that pain, then I went out and I tried to talk everyone that I could into doing it because I had found something that worked, right? I had found this, this thing that I could bring into my life and that numbed me. And if you were hurting, then you need to follow me. I became a leader. And then I became a mom shortly after that. And... <laughs> And a 19-year-old doesn't make a good mom, right? That's what the world tells us. Is that if you're young, then you don't know anything about mothering. And I began to look at these other moms and begin to think, I, I just, I just want to be a good mom. And so I would strive and I would strive to be this good mom. But when I would fail, I would just turn away and go back to my stuff, right? To the drugs, to the depression. And then I would try again, and I would fail. And it wasn't until later in my life when I truly surrendered my life to God and said, God, I can't do this anymore. I, I'm tired of being something that's not good. I'm tired of not being okay. It's not until that moment when I completely surrendered everything I was to God that he began to show me something amazing.